This is a unit you can get on uh, eBay or Amazon.com. It's affordable solar units. We're talking about hurricane and uh, earthquake preparedness. It generates about 40 watts of electricity. And you open the kit. It has a fold-out photovoltaic array. And this just folds out here. Now, these uh, photovoltaic cells are fragile. You know, they're basically glass. So you're going to want to protect this in some kind of a foam case and not give it a lot of, um, not, not, you know, not allow it to get uh, a lot of, uh, you know, bumps and bruises there. But this is the array and then in this pouch, this little cable comes out here and I've got a multimeter here and we'll measure the voltage that the photovoltaics are generating. Right now it's cloudy, a cloud just passed over. But in bright sunlight, it usually puts out a little over 9 volts. And these will vary, um, you know, as the sun changes position. And also, uh, the delta T or temperature affects the output of the photovoltaics. But um, you can go ahead and focus the camera on. I'm measuring, here I'm going to measure the output voltage. And so that cloudy, I'm getting about 7.7, .7, almost 8 volts out of the photovoltaic array. But when, with bright sunlight, like I said, with the clouds, I usually get a little bit over 9 volts. And it translates into 40 watts. So there was just 8 right there. The, the clouds, okay, yeah, sun's coming back out. Now the voltage is going back up. So the neat thing about these arrays is you can charge, you, know, you can run cell phones, laptops, televisions. Um, it comes with uh, a rechargeable lithium battery power supply. And it'll charge this in about 6 hours of bright sunlight. And you'll also need this the MPPT quick charging controller. Okay, and basically this input goes into the solar panel. So I plug it in like that to the solar panel. And the neat thing is, unlike a gasoline generator, you don't have to worry about running on a gasoline or finding gasoline. It's quiet and it can't kill you with carbon monoxide. So there's a few advantages there. Of course, the disadvantages, no sunlight, no, no power. But if you charge this up, you can use this at night to power lamps and fans. It'll run a fan for about six and a half hours. You can run a laptop computer for about three hours. You can run a television for about two hours. Um, if you have those low energy compact fluorescent bulbs, like you know, we, we use the 13 watts, it'll run that, those all night, just on that little power supply there. Um, but basically this, this unit here would plug into When I do, notice, can you see the red lead there? That lets me know that it's charging. When I, as long as that's lit up, even, and even though it's cloudy, like it's getting ready to rain and, and the clouds are, I'm still drawing 70, I'm almost like the equivalent of a 9 volt battery from the sunlight. That's a pretty small photovoltaic, and you can actually wire these up um, in series if you want, and get more voltage that way. Okay, so that's that would be charging this, and then it actually has an inverter. I can plug in an inverter, and I can plug in you couldn't run, you couldn't run anything like a refrigerator. Oops, it's slipping off there. You couldn't run anything, you know, that draws the kind of waters like a refrigerator or a major appliance like that. But you could, you know, we have like a little Coleman electric cooler, and we we could run that. It would keep meats cold, and you know, keep ice for a few days, and you know, at least it's you know, the, the the bare minimum of things that you need in an emergency: a working cell phone, and um, you know, lights, lamps, things like that. So the inverter just plugs into the battery. And when I do that, I can plug an appliance into that. It's also got a USB port, so you can charge your iPhone or cell phone or iPod or whatever you want to charge there. In addition, this particular unit will go right into these two clips here. And you can hook these to a car battery. And you know, say you're going camping somewhere for a few days, or in the event of a hurricane, maybe you know, we had one that was so bad here a few years ago, we were without power for a week and a half. This will charge a car battery in three hours. So in bright sunlight, if you were to hook this up to a car battery, it'll charge it up in three hours. It comes with alligator clips. That's kind of nice. Um, also, in addition to that, it comes with this little little bad boy here. And basically, you can plug this unit in. You can plug this unit into 
the battery, the battery here, and then plug this into a cigarette lighter, and you can use the, uh, you know, the, the car to charge the uh, lithium battery as well. So it give you some backup power. It's a good unit. We're looking at hurricane and earthquake preparedness today. And um, we looked at a, a, a photovoltaic array, a portable solar photovoltaic that will charge, you know, outputs about 40 watts and it will charge a battery. So that's one viable option. And another viable option, if you don't have a sunlight, um, you can get these at Walmart. And it's a crank flashlight, kind of like old World War II style. You know, they used to have the crank radios. And basically there's a dynamo in there. So it's like, you know, it's pretty much like a generator. There's some magnets and a coil of copper wire and there's like a slow drain capacitor or a battery and it charges it and so the neat thing about this is if you let a flashlight sit in a drawer for a couple of years your batteries are going to be dead when you need it so when the hurricane happens or the earthquake happens or the power outage and you, you know just when you need it it might let you down unless you remember to keep those batteries replaced and charged but you don't have to worry about that if you use a crank device so again these are pretty inexpensive and you can pick them up at pretty much any Walmart now these other devices I had to uh, order, I had to order online. This is great, this is a Red Cross radio and uh, it comes with a solar panel so you know, in the sunlight you can stick it outside and it'll, it'll sit there and run right off the sunlight. But the neat thing is in the absence of sunlight it has a crank and again it's a dynamo, runs on the principle of a little generator there. So I'm charging like a you know a slow drain capacitor and a battery inside and once I crank it a little bit um, pull out the antenna here and it's got a weather radio and uh, and just like FM and AM but you know that might be something very useful in the event of a disaster let you get information. It's also got a flashlight and it charges it with the crank. And then what I really like about this device, and by the way when you buy it they donate six dollars to the Red Cross. What I really like about it is there's a USB port on there. And that's so you can actually with you know with the crankshaft and the uh, you know the dynamo you can turn it and actually charge a cell phone or USB powered device. So let me show you what that looks like. Um, I have a cell phone here. And I'm just going to plug this in. Plug this into the USB port. Now there's no diode to reverse the charge, so you want to make sure you don't leave the device plugged in when you're not cranking it, when you're not charging it. Otherwise you can reverse the current flow and drain your battery. But once it's hooked up, watch, I'm going to go ahead and crank it now. And I just need to put this on cell. So I'm going to move this all the way over to cell to charge the cell phone. And we're going to crank. Now notice, can you get a close up of the phone here? Notice the screen's popping on. And it's going, my Nokia is going into charging mode. And see the charge light come on. Can you see the charge light blinking on and off? So I'm actually charging my phone with biochemical energy and mechanical energy. I mean, you see it popping on? And that's from a dead battery. Okay, so. Now, I'm going to unplug that, and just to show you, here's another device. This is just a flashlight, but it's also a crank. I just wanted one as a backup, and these were cheap. These were like seven bucks on uh, Amazon, and again, it's great because in the event of a power outage or a disaster, you don't have to worry about having fresh batteries. These batteries are always, you know, all you have to do is crank it a few times, and you got a light. You got a flashlight. And in addition to that, it also charges. And just to show you, here's another USB power device. I have an iPod. I don't have an iPhone. But um, I, I tested this on a friend's iPhone, and it charged his iPhone just fine. Um, I was teaching a night class, and he, he was an iPhone person, and we hooked it up, and it, you know, had to give it some good, pretty good cranks there, revolutions per minute, but it did charge it. And 
basically for about a minute of cranking they say you know you can charge it up do maybe like a five to seven minute call so that's great because you know a few years back in Florida we had some hurricanes and we were without power for almost a week and a half uh, one and then maybe about a week we got, we got three hurricanes in a row and it would have been really nice to have had something like this where I could actually charge things but I'm gonna go ahead and watch the iPod there cut on So it's going through the boot process, and I'm actually charging it from a dead battery. So imagine, you know, you're in a hurricane, you're in an earthquake, um, you're without power for several days, and your phone, you know, your phone batteries are dead. And this is great. You've got light, you've got a radio to get public, you know, service information or weather, and now you can actually charge your cell phone. So when they do get the cell phone towers back up, you can make calls, or you know, you can listen to music and things like that. So very, very, very cool, very, very nifty devices. On that same principle, um, all of these crank devices, I got this device on Amazon.com, and it's, this, this little beauty is great. You can plug it into the wall and charge it, and uh, if you turn this switch on here, you can jump start your car from it. So that's great if you have a dead battery on your car. In addition, it has a built-in inverter, so you can plug in appliances to it, as well as a DC 12 volt socket there. You have you know DC power devices with a, a socket adapter. It's got a light and a strobe. Okay, it's got an air pump that'll let you you know compressor that'll let you pump up a tire if it's a flat tire. And um, the the coolest thing about it is you know I, I can charge this with my photovoltaics with my solar panels, but it's got this crank on it. You can pull this to charge the battery. It's kind of like a lawnmower. And again, if I just do this a few times. But basically doing that, doing that about uh, for about two minutes, they say, will give you enough charge on the internal battery to power a laptop for about an hour and a half. And you can plug appliances into it. Let me go get a lamp real quick, and I'll show you that I can run a DC appliance out of it. Um, hang on, I'll grab a lamp. energy of my muscles in my hand pulling this crank charges the internal battery and then the internal battery can produce electrical power and then there's a built-in AC inverter so it converts the DC to alternating current and now I'm powering the lamp from it. Pretty nifty stuff and it may give you some peace of mind in a hurricane and you couldn't run like a refrigerator or air conditioner off this it just doesn't produce enough wattage or power but you can run a television, a radio, VCR, um, a laptop computer um, you know, there's a lot of things, you know, lamps, or, um, it'll power a fan for six and a half hours, according to the manual. So that's kind of cool. I'm not going to turn the inverter off now. And um, let, me just, let me just show you one more time. So basically I plug the lamp in, I'm going to turn the inverter on. And then what I do, I'm powering a lamp from the internal battery. And basically that's com that was converting the mechanical energy of me pulling the crank with my hand and charging the battery into a electrical power, DC current from the battery, the inverter is converting it to alternating current or AC and it's powering our lamp here. That's pretty neat, huh? And then of course this also has a USB and I can charge a USB device with it. If I, if I switch this over here to USB then that'll send power to the USB port and I got to plug an iPhone or you know my Nokia cell phone or iPod or whatever in there that needs USB power. Um, things that you could, like I said, you could power a fan for six and a half hours. You could run, if you have one of those electric coolers, 
budget cooler can keep your food, you know, as cool as 40, you know, some of them are go down to like 38 degrees, which is plenty cold enough to preserve food, and it could power that for several hours. But, you know, of course, for big wattage devices, I guess you'd need, you know, a more powerful gasoline power generator. However, the benef benefits of this are it's renewable energy, so I never run out. You know, if my battery dies, I just crank it up. Um, I can also charge it via car battery. If I have, you know, if my car, if I gas in my car, I, I can plug it into the cigarette lighter and charge it via my car battery. Or I can charge it up with solar panels. I have a portable photovoltaic solar array that I can use to charge it with. Um, in addition, you know, it's, it's clean power. Um, you're not producing any greenhouse gas and you don't have to worry about carbon monoxide poisoning and it's completely silent and quiet. Um, you know, a source of energy there in your time of need hopefully give you some peace of mind. So, you know, hurricane season is coming up and this might be something to think about. Something that, you know, doesn't really cost you a lot of money, is not, doesn't really, you know, cramp your style much, but you might be very grateful that you purchased these things and you had them put away in your hurricane kit or your earthquake kit for when, you know, catastrophe or disaster may strike.